Today was a really boring episode. <laughs> Low-key, if my life was a movie. <laughs> or a series on Netflix. <laughs> Y'all don't want to see the next episode because it's so boring. <laughs> Anyways, I actually woke up on my alarm today. That's probably like the most interesting thing that happened today is that I actually woke up today. And then I do be doing the walking though. Chores! A normal healthy breakfast that consists of glucose. <laughs> and again, that same phenomenon where uh, I am like <sighs> bored and the monotony is getting to me all day. And then the moment I begin talking to myself, I am just a 1010 comedian. This happened last episode. It's gonna get predictable after a while. I did do play with my brothers today, but I kind of just avoided them. <laughs> but hey, the later episodes at least are gonna become more interesting. Uh, not to spoil all that much, but come um, a few more episodes and I will be talking about uh, or really summarizing episodes that may or may not be uh, that have to do with the Adirondacks. <laughs> I don't really want to watch those episodes though. I'm kind of avoiding the whole ordeal. <laughs> um, one of the humans kind of sort of uh, almost broke the collarbone. <laughs> so, uh, tragedy, episode, uh, drama, yeah. The other human got uh, healing magic and now they're better. <laughs> Uh, male human left for work until the moon is high in the sky. And I'm here being goofy in the middle of the night. If only, if only. The whole thing about motions can do the reverse where I feel miserable at night and happy all day. <laughs> but to be fair, I like going to sleep happy. So I guess that's a sacrifice I'm willing to take for a little while. <clears throat> Thank you, Corona. <laughs> I kind of sort of was out of it today. Like, I don't want drugs. I don't want alcohol. As long as I have headphones, I get my fix by listening to music. It's pretty great when you have psychosis, and you have synesthesia, and you have a really good pair of $70 headphones, <laughs> and you're a hallucinogenic fuck, and it appears that you have a sidewalk. So what do you do with all that stuff? You dance like an idiot down the whole fucking street. So I'm just like... Down the whole freaking street, not giving a frick in the world. <laughs> I still don't give a frick in the world. Cause I'm apparently very disconnected. I mean, hey, be yourself. Dance like an idiot down the street. It's not gonna matter in, like, tomorrow. What, you think, like, the army is gonna come to your house saying, Hey, you were, uh, you were, uh, doing some stuff down the street, and we, uh, the whole neighborhood and the entire planet came to ridicule you. Ah! Several news reports later. <laughs> This person was reported dancing down the street. Oh, wow. Attention, attention, attention. Arrgh. Let's be real. Anxiety is, like, the biggest liar in your life. I danced down that street to prove anxiety my point. And I proved that point good. Anxiety. You're a liar. Lies! Lies! Anyways, I, uh, I drew and I made a meme. And, uh, it suddenly got a lot darker in my room, so now I'm scared. So, uh, I'm gonna skip everything. Uh, the rest of my night was boring. The rest of the episode was boring. If today was... <sighs> if today was an episode of my life, and, uh, the title of this episode would be Hallucinogenic Street Dancer. <laughs> Because I do be looking like I'm high on drugs, but really it's just my brain producing its own whatever, and with a mixture of music, and it just comes out as a concoction of weird body movements known as dancing. <laughs>